The New England Carousel Museum is an incredible place for carousel lovers and amusement park historians. And it really is surprising this museum does not get more attention in the theme park community, given that it's just a 10 minute drive from Lake Compounds. I'll explain why this museum should be on your radar in this review. This place began in the 1980s as a restoration house for wooden carousel horses, but they eventually went bankrupt. In 1990, the New England Carousel Museum was formed as a non-profit organization. Located in Bristol, Connecticut, the museum occupies a former factory. It's not a flashy building, but it's fitting a museum with this much emphasis on the past is located in a historic building. Parking is free. General admission is then $15. The museum is regularly open five days a week, but they also offer special tours and facility rentals beyond that. This museum does not have the longest hours, but you can comfortably see everything within one and a half to two hours. It helps that you are not fighting crazy crowds. I have visited this museum a few times, and I've seen maybe two to three other guests total each time. That makes sense if you review their attendance figures. In 2019, they had 7,000 annual visitors. That works out to roughly 27 and a half guests per day given their schedule. The museum hopes to double those numbers in the next few years though. The first floor is the main showroom for the classical horses. It is nice being able to get up close to so many gorgeous pieces. And unlike at an amusement park where you need to quickly board, you are free to gawk and admire the fine detail and craftsmanship. They feature three main types of carved horses. First is Coney Island. This style is recognized by the bedazzled horses and wilder poses. This style was commonly used by Charles Louf and M.C. Lyons. Second is Philadelphia. This style looks more realistic and has gentler expressions. This style was used by the Philadelphia Toboggan Company and Denzel. Third is Country Fair. This style was more about function, as they were simpler and sturdier. This style was commonly used by the Herschel Company. The museum features examples of each kind of horse along with infographics. There also are some more unique animals scattered about the showroom as well. The museum also has a section covering the technology behind carousels. This includes the mechanical aspect, as well as the steps needed to design each horse. Then there's also a rideable carousel. This is an additional $1 charge. It is primarily for kids though, as it has a 100 pound weight limit. Adjacent to the carousel is a series of band organs, one of which is still functional. If you ask the staff, they are happy to play it for you. It is loud and cheerful. The music radiates through the entire museum. And the side panel is removed, so you can see all the inner workings. On that note, the staff here is amazing. They live, breathe, and love carousels. They are happy to discuss anything you see at the museum, or your favorite carousels across the globe. There is also a second floor of the museum, so be sure not to miss that. Most of the space is a wide open wedding venue with some more horses on the perimeter, but this also doubles as a workshop. The restoration house is where the team refurbishes carousel horses. Two prominent clients are the nearby lake compounds and the Crescent Park Carousel in Riverside, Rhode Island. If you arrive earlier in the day, you can often see them hard at work. There also is a paint workshop just down the hall as well. There also is a room with a few models of classic carousels, one of which is the Slater Park Loof Carousel in Pawtucket, Rhode Island. Lastly, the second floor is also home to a small Greek museum and the Museum of Fire History. Both are included with your ticket. Beyond the exhibits, there isn't too much else here. There is a small gift shop as you enter, then you won't find any food stands, but that's understandable given how this is not a full day affair. So do I recommend the New England Carousel Museum? If you love carousels or amusement park history, yes I do. This is an affordably priced attraction with beautiful horses of many styles. Then you have friendly and extremely knowledgeable staff members that supplement the museum's displays and getting to see pieces of other carousels being restored is just icing on the cake. This is extremely convenient to pair with lake compounds given its proximity, and it really is a shame more theme park fans do not make their way here. 
Carousels are an important ride for many parks and the industry as a whole. So those are my thoughts on the New England Carousel Museum. What are your thoughts about this attraction? Have you been there? Let me know down in the comments. If you enjoyed this review, I would appreciate it if you gave this video a like and you consider subscribing because there'll be a lot more roller coaster amusement park videos here at Canopy Coaster. Thanks for watching.